Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the differences between the static template and editable templates. In last tutorial, I explained about the basics of editable templates. So now you can understand the differences between these two. I will also talk about why do we need editable templates? What were the issues we were facing with the static templates? So we start using editable templates. Now let's understand the structure of both kind of templates at high level. So static templates has templates as well as and the backend we have a base component. Base component has all the scripts or the basic functionality which you need for the template. So all these things are maintained by developer. They, here there is a no scope of content author or template author or template admin. But in case of edit template templates, templates are created by template authors or template admin or whoever has the permissions to create template. These templates author can define the layout and all the necessary functionality to this template. But page component and template type, template type which is used to create template, basically it's a template of creating templates are maintained or created by developers so here is its separate scope this is for the template authors and this whole these things is maintained by developer like those were doing earlier for the static templates so there is an additional step in editable templates so the first major difference is in a static templates everything is maintained by developer but in case of editable templates to create templates developers are not required developers can write the basic functionality once using you know core comp means page component as template type and later on template admin or template author can create any number of the templates so I'll, I'll cover this use case by our own use case let's say uh, in our geek site we are adding a new section called nude section and in our aim geeks we have the template with the full page layout right we have a template which cover the whole page so now uh, as part of new section like new section we need a template which has two column layout means we need a template which has two parses like this right so in case of normal scenario when we have a static templates there will be the new requirement for this template developer will develop uh, template and this whole process will cover the complete development cycle means developer will develop then we'll have a QA then we'll have a UAT and then we'll have a business uh, validation so at least we need one development cycle whatever the uh, you know cycle or the uh, planning of the sprint you have so at least we need one sprint in case everything goes right so it's a time consuming and you can understand to to get a new template you have to wait at least one development cycle but in case of editable templates content author or template admin or author can create template in one day and they can start using so you must understand why exactly do we need this editable template and in case of static template this whole is maintained by developer so you need development uh, developer involvement as well as the whole development cycle but in case of editable template only the template author can create template within a day and they can start using the second important difference is in case of static template only developer can add initial components like if you want those components to be available on resulting pages only developer can do that and these components can be removed later but in case of uh, editable templates template author can add or remove these uh, components anytime they need suppose there are requirement to add one component they can add it and later if they need few more components to be added at the in either in initial or in structure they can add but in case of static template if you need any change then you have to again go to a complete development cycle even there, there is a minor change so in case of editable template you can add components to initial or a structure as i already explained if you add a component in initial you can remove it later or you can modify it but it, in case you add the component with content in structure you cannot remove it later so we have both kind of features if you need you can use as per your need and the relations means in static template there is a static relation between the template and the pages but that is the dynamic in case of editable templates what does it mean let's say uh, let's understand this with the example so in case we have a template means we got this template uh, news template now and we are using only static template so suppose we created a thousand pages using this template and later on 
we want some changes in layout of this newsletter section means whole pages so what you have to do in case of editable templates you can definitely update template using the developer or complete or development cycle but the pages you have already created means that thousand pages you cannot change anything in that thousand pages means you cannot change the layout of those thousand pages so after update this template if you create pages after the update of this template, the new feature, so the new layout will be applicable only for the new pages, not for the old pages. So this, this was the you know major drawback. So in case, suppose you want to update whole previous as well as the new pages. So this feature is available with the dynamic templates and that we call it the dynamic relationship. So let's say uh, you have this template means news template two column and later on you want to change the width of these uh, you know two columns like you now you change the width so when you apply this layout changes so all the pages previously thousand pages created as well as the new pages both changes will be applied to means these changes will be applied to both kind of previous as well as new pages in case of static template to store template level properties we use design node but design node has been completely removed with editable templates irrespective of design node we use policies in uh, editable template to store node level uh, means template level properties uh, and plus policies will give you few additional features or few more functionalities i'll talk about this when i will cover policies in a separate tutorial so now you must understand why we need editable templates what were the issues we were facing with you know static templates so i hope you understood the differences between these uh, static template and editable template and why exactly we need what the issues uh, we were facing in static template and why we followed the editable templates so if you have any question please do comment thank you